Hello everyone and welcome back to my next episode on the Realm of Bastion server. I am Mar and I am standing here next to the sign displaying pretty much what we're still looking for as we continue to work with villagers. I do not have arthropods, piercing, or power. Um, not that any of those are particular. I mean, power is, you know, good to have, of course, for your bows, but you wouldn't necessarily need a whole lot. And I decided just to throw this up. <laughs> Class in session, please do not disturb. Thank you. <laughs> Just to try and, you know, keep it kind of funny and whatnot. Um, I'm, I'm still working on my villagers here. I managed to get six reject villagers in here. These are guys I traded with and decided, you know, later on I got a new trade. And now these guys are not really needed anymore. Like a new trade, save trade, but, you know, better price now. Um, so these are my rejects. I only need six of them because I want to make an iron farm. Um, that's the plan anyway. And over here I've, I've still got a whole bunch of villagers making all kinds of noise. I've got this guy here. My little, uh, what, what were you? Weaponsmith, I believe, with his little grindstone. And I, I set him up for a specific reason. Crafting Mantis was looking for um, bells. So I set this guy up. Um, he was the easy, uh, a weaponsmith is the easiest way I, I, I saw to get the bells. There are two others, I believe the, the, the armor and I believe the toolsmith maybe also does bells, but I, I, this guy is a guaranteed chance for bells. You didn't have to worry about anything. So I was like, I'll just go with him. So I set him up and he is ridiculously expensive. 12 is as low as it can go. Um, 36 is the default and 12 is, uh, Pretty much the lowest it can go, which is a little unfortunate. Um, it, I, I have done quite a bit of work since the last episode. I have, uh, I have here the staircase where all the villagers would go, and actually, most of them are actually in place. I went ahead and decided to put them in. Um, even though I had not actually uh, obtained all of the villagers, that was mostly just to make it available for everybody else to use while I'm working. Um... And right here, in these bookshelf units that I have designed, I have all the book trades. Um, and I kind of have it based, like, the number of double chests is is directly related to how frequently the enchantment is likely to be used. Um, I don't remember how much of this uh, design work I had in the last episode. I know we had worked on this together. Um, originally, I had three double chests in all of these columns, and I decided to take that out. I figured that was, like, way too many of, like, Curse of Binding. Like, who needs three chests, three double chests at, at that of Curse of Binding? So now I have it kind of just de dependent upon what the enchantment is. So, like, your Unbreaking is three chests, your Silk Touch, because, you know, everybody likes having a bunch of Silk Touch tools and, and whatnot. Um, same with Fortune along here. Mending, of course, is three. Um, I believe this is the Fortune right here. Yep. And then, uh, I believe, is this the last one? Efficiency is, of course, uh, three. Then your twos are, like, your blast protection and your normal protection, your projectile protection, your fire protection. Um, like, right here. Um, I don't remember how many more were at two chests. What's this? Oh, these are the other two, projectile and normal. And then, what's that? Thorns, I believe. Um... This was kind of a give or take. You could technically put it on all of your armor. I don't know how many people actually do, but I went with two. And then everybody else, or all the other trades, just get one double chest. But one double chest is still a lot. Now, there are still four trades I'm still working on. Smite is one of them. Uh, power and uh, arthropods and piercing are the other three. Here's my smite villager. His price is dumb. I'm attempting to replace this villager. I mean, come on. 27 emeralds for a smite 5 book. Give me a break, dude. Um, in the meantime, I have all of these chests full. So I have three double chests of Silk Touch. I have a double chest of Sweeping Edge. I have two double chests of Thorns. I have three double chests of, you know, Unbreaking. I, I even, I went right ahead and got a full double chest of Curse of Vanishing and Curse of Binding because we, we, maybe we'll use those? Maybe? I, I don't know, but <laughs> we are fully stocked of all the trades that we have currently, except for that stupid smite stuff. Um, hoping, trying to get a different smite villager. Once I do, I'll, I'll swap him out and put him in there. Um, and then the arthropods and the, um, arthropods and, what is it, uh, power and piercing? That'll be these, whoops, that'll be these three slots here. And then I'm done. I'm done with the librarians. Um, but that then that leaves all the other villagers. So, guys like him. Where, where are we going to put them? Um, you may notice, uh, you might have noticed already, I have put these above my head because, or above their, their heads more specifically. Because it occurred to me that they could get struck by lightning and turn into witches. Yeah. 
We don't want that, do we? We do not want these guys turned into witches. So it kind of kills the idea I had of putting them in little booths out here. It's a cool idea, but it leaves them completely exposed to the weather. I thought it would be safe because, you know, nothing can spawn up here. Yeah, well, <laughs> lightning can spawn anywhere. So my idea is that instead of putting them out there, I was trying to figure out, well, like, what do I do? Put them on the second tier of the library? What do I do? I'm considering seeing if I can squeeze them into the smaller towers. Of course, the main entrance is one tower, but that leaves us three other towers. And there was actually nothing being done in this section here. Um, so I could use just this main left floor and just have a very, very, very high ceiling. Maybe I could add more floors in here. I don't know. Um, but I, I figured maybe like I could have my weaponsmiths on this side and maybe my toolsmiths on this side and then maybe the, the masons or something over here or the armors, maybe the armors would be better right here. And that'd be like three different types of villagers in this one. And then of course you, you go to the next one and maybe you'll have your, your clerics or your cartographers or something like that. But I have three towers, you know, three smaller spires. I think I might be able to get away with squeezing these guys inside of this little area here because you can see it's pretty roomy it's it's small but it is surprisingly roomy and I just have to create some sort of booth similar to this similar to what we've been using in the library and it's pretty workable actually um now let's see what else have I been working on oh ooh, I did some redstone I did some redstone I was pretty excited that I was able to get it to work let's see here um it's a little obvious we just have this one random <laughs> lever, just just chilling here. And it gives you access to the beacon, in case I ever want to change what the power was. Because before, when this is shut, you you really can't get an angle at it. Because the, the way, like, you, you can't... Oops, I just put a torch in there. No, I put a torch here. Whew. You, you can't really get in there to change what the beacon is. And that was kind of on purpose. I didn't want people to be able to change it, just willy-nilly. But now I have set this up to retract these stairs into it, because I've got pistons down here, and I can directly interact with the beacon. Um, so I was pretty happy that I was able to figure that out. I, I literally have redstone down there on top of the beacon base, uh, winding all the way around. Um, I guess I can go ahead and show you, right? Um, so yeah, I've got, I've got the redstone right up there, doing its thing. Um, that's the start, that's the spawn platform for where I want to put the uh, iron farm, but you know, iron golem farm. For now, I'm not gonna do anything with that though. Um, I think I had this too. If I click this button, then I'm not going to. Um, but if I did click that button, it would give me a stack of barrier blocks. Um, the command block for that is directly underneath. Um, well, I could show you. It's directly underneath the enchanting table right there. Uh, I have these, name tags. People need to come out and name tag their people. Um, so I put in here name tags for um, all or at least most, all the ones I could think of, the full list that I could come up with for Realm of Aston members, current ones, um, previous Realm of Aston members, and Vastin Dimensions members. And the idea is that we'll be able to name tag all the villagers. I don't know if I'll have enough villagers, but I'm going to try. And... Yeah, I think that should be pretty cool. As you would have, uh, maybe, maybe you did, maybe you didn't. You might have noticed earlier when I opened this trap door, we've got old gray man here, just chilling. And right over here, where is it? Right, right, yeah, right here. Agent Nemitz has also cleaned the villager. Mending and, what was it? Efficiency five and, and aquafinity as well. So all of the people who are play on the server need to come over and name tag whichever villager they want. Uh, recommendation, D don't pick this guy because his price is dumb and we're going to replace him anyway if we can anyway um but all the other ones are ready to be name tagged just for you know fun mostly just for fun um and eventually as i continue working with these guys eventually we'll have them ready to be name tagged as well once i get them moved into more of their their final location um to sit now in today's episode i want to work on setting up a couple more booths kind of like um similar to this reception desk sort of this thing here uh where i have put the library policies library catalog and library floor plan now here's the policies 
Um, just, just basic rules for using the library. Here's the floor plan, which I actually have to redo because originally I was, you know, like I was saying, the exterior of the foundation out there, that's where I was going to put the non-librarians, but I've, you know, changed my mind on that now. So, and then, uh, we got the catalog here, which is to be determined. It's just, it's basically just going to be a list of all the villagers and all their trades and all of that, but I want to get them all name tagged and, and get all the, the traders finalized before I bother with that. That'll be a, one of the last things we do. But I think I want to add a booth here and a booth on this side. One of them's going to be for spectator and one of them's going to be for adventure. So I'll have a command block similar to the, uh, the one under here and a button so that you just go up and you click the button and whoops that was kind of silly but you click the button and it'll put you into spectator or you'll click on the button over there and you'll be put in an adventure whatever so that's what i want to work on in today's episode so let me go ahead and grab some resources and we can get that started okay so i've started coming up with a little bit of a design here and what i'm trying to go for here is something that maybe doesn't look the greatest but it's it's purpose is to be functional not to look you know super fancy or anything like that um we are we are wanting to uh continue in trying to keep a, a similar theme as what we have elsewhere in the library um at the same time though this might be a good place to put a cartographer is what i've actually kind of been thinking um it just kind of like just struck me as i was working on this uh so i'm putting down trapdoors just to give it a little bit of an extra lip up there on top um, and I'm thinking I'll put a cartographer's table right here, and then I have this, like, just for non- I mean, it, it's functional, not that anybody but us would use it, you know? Um, and the purpose is just to kind of make it look like the area is a little more lived in, because most of our other villagers are all squirreled away, and now that, now that we can't put them out here, I'm having to find ways to incorporate them in here. So the idea is that I'll have a cartographer in here, and I think I might just let him wander around in here. It's not like he can really come to any harm, um, so long as, you know, we don't get zombies in here and everything. And I think to try and mitigate that, I, you know, I'm gonna... I'm gonna put it at this right here. I'm just gonna do something like this, and as cool as it would be, um, ooh, that that's a problem. That's a problem because I can't put two here, right? That would look weird, right? Tell me that wouldn't look weird. Um, that would look really weird if I had two trap doors right there. It, it'd end up looking like this. Isn't that that's bizarre? <laughs> I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Um, because, I mean, in theory, the place is supposed to be spawn-proof anyway, but I don't really want to test that theory. I don't want my, my villagers to die by some strange mis mishap, you know? Um, I don't really know what else I could do. What if, would this look terrible? Something like that around the, well, no, I can't really do that at the corners, though. Hmm. I mean, what can I do? What can, what else can I do here? I mean, I could put them like this, but I was trying to avoid that because I feel like it looks kind of weird with these upside down stairs here. Doesn't that look a little weird? Or maybe maybe that doesn't look bad. Maybe it almost looks like a shelf. Not a shelf that anybody's using, but it still does kind of look a little like a shelf. Let's see what it looks like if I bring it all the way across. I mean, it looks really top heavy if I'm being honest. It looks pretty top heavy. Hmm. Maybe what I should do is get rid of this row of stairs and just bring this the bookshelves directly down on top of uh, the posts. Let's try that and see what that looks like. Cause that, that's the problem. I don't want it to look too bulky. That's a problem I was running into over there. Um, now over there I left it. Like I, I didn't put a top on it because we didn't need one. But over here, like I said, I, I want to make sure the villager is safe in here. Um, or at least as much as I possibly can, you know? Oops, let's grab that. Anything else? No, okay. And where are there are my bookshelves? Let's bring that across. And then back. I love that I have exactly the, the number that I need. And then my spru spruce trap doors. We'll just, uh, do this. Oops, there we go. And then over here. And then on top as well, that's right, because... Ooh, I didn't even realize those were there. Let's not be wasteful. Um, let's see, it's this and that. Bring it all the way around. Oop, 
There we go. I mean, it's not necessarily the greatest, but I don't think I hate it. <laughs> I, I This is the part that I really wish, I mean, I, I really wish you could have more than one, like, post design, something that looks more, you know, appropriate when it's put in, when it's used in those sorts of situations. Um, but I think I'm okay with that. So, then what I just need to do is get a villager in here. Um, I don't think they can actually path under that. I'm just going to take that down temporarily. So, I'll get a villager in here. I'll just minecart him in. That I, I can actually probably do that right now. Well, I don't know if that's going to be enough rails now that I think of it. But let's go ahead and see how far these rails will take me. I've got more, or I can make more anyway. So, it's not a huge deal. Is that going to... Let's just run it right here. I'm pretty sure this is gonna run out before we... Oh yeah, we ain't got nearly enough. Almost, we almost had enough. All we really need to do is get it to this rail line here. Now I should have more. Um, maybe not over here. Do I have any in my ender chest? Let us see. Redstone box. Ooh. I know I've got them somewhere. I'm pretty sure I have more rails somewhere. Oops, let's not do that here. Let's check up here in our storage. Ow. Of all the things to hit, I had to hit the one lamp post that was in the way. Oh, they're the detector rails and the activator rails. Okay, that's fine. I'll just have to craft some more. Um, and that's... Ooh, nope. See, I knew I had more. I knew it. Thank goodness I found those. That'd have been unfortunate if I had gone and made more. So let's just connect this up. And then we have to... Get ourselves. Oop, that's that's well, that's annoying. We've got a we've got a ladder in the way. Then we just have to go and fetch ourselves a villager. Let us see. Who's a likely subject? Ooh, you're, you're likely. I like you. I like you. Let's do you. All right. Let's see if we can't get you on the line before. Well, that's not working the way I wanted it to at all. Okay. There we go. Now we've got him on a line. All right, just get, just get closer. Just get, nope, nope, wrong way, wrong way. Nope, 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 no. Okay, good. Phew. I was afraid there for a minute. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was a little nervous about what was gonna happen to him. Okay, you need to go. Oh dear. Oh dear. Um. Excuse me. Pardon me. You need to go that way. Thank you. Put that back. All right, let's go. Keep it moving. Keep it moving. Now you need to ignore all those. Those ignore all of the lecterns. No, he grabbed the lectern. How dare you? How dare you? You need to forget about that lectern right now. I don't think he's gonna do it until the morning, which is actually coming. There's the sun. Excellent. So let's box you in. Have a cartography table. Is this is this subject to which direction you're facing? Yes, it is. Actually. Let's make this face your direction, then. Oh, wait a second. Uh, is this not... Huh. What? You can't even pick which direction it faces? Well, that's kind of annoying. Okay, well. You don't have a choice? I'm sorry, it wasn't my decision. <laughs> it wasn't honest. Okay, so let's get you... Uh, uh, there we go. Let's get you out of that. You need to forget about your job and take this job, okay? I don't necessarily like there being only this. I feel like that could be easily used to, like, I, I feel like I could easily let him loose, you know? Hmm. Maybe what I should do... Should I simulate the effect of that? Maybe I should just simulate it. We'll do... <gasps> nope, nope, nope. In, in, nope, nope! No, 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 no. Oh, he's too tall. <laughs> Sucks to be you. Just gonna say it. Oops, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted at all. I wanted this. There we go. And then let us do that. <laughs> oh, now I can't get back up there. Whoops. Okay. Now you're stuck. Now I'm stuck. Um. There we go. Ouch. Alright, so now we just need you to forget about being a librarian and come and be a cartographer. Yes, right here, right, yep, yep. What is with the big nose? You got giant nose. Aww. All 
All right, well, we'll leave him at it, at that then, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'll see how it is. You're gonna stubbornly stare at me. Make me look like a fool. Let's get this. I want that gone, and I want a, tr uh, a slab. Where's my slabs? There they are. Now I need more bookshelves. Of course I need more bookshelves. Okay, let me go get some more bookshelves and replicate this over there. And, oh, the monocle. Of course! I totally forgot that's what you wear. All right, let me build this over there and get another villager in, and then we'll see how we go. Okay, do it right in front of my eyes. Forget being a librarian and become the cartographer. Because now I know what to look for. I need to wait for that monocle. I need those ditzy spectacles to go away, and we need it to be re replaced by the monocle. Come on. I got faith in you. I got faith in you. You can do it. You can do it. It's, it's middle of the day. Come on. Yes, you. Forget, what your, forget your job and take this one. It shouldn't take that long. Come on. Hmm. Maybe he'll only do it the next time he checks for a job. Like, maybe it's only in the morning? Because... Like, you could force him to forget if I went and broke whatever lectern he likes, but then, of course, that's gonna give a problem to the other librarians. So, I'll just wait and... Ooh, 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 ooh. Ha-ha! There it is! boy. Now you got that. Sweet! And the kind of cool feature is that everybody else can use the, uh, the cartography table too if they wanted to. But he is in there. He should be safe. People should be able to reach him no matter where he wanders around to. Um, he should stay. Yeah, he should come back here and, and refresh his trades every so often. Uh, I mean, not that he's likely to have anything to trade. Um, but, you know, empty maps are always handy, right? Empty maps? I actually don't know what all they trade. I don't even... There could be... There could be some good things maybe we'd want him to get. Um, I'm checking my tablet right now. Cartographer. So, uh, paper and emeralds for emeralds and empty maps. So we could trade empty maps. We could do glass panes for emeralds. We could get an ocean explorer. Oh, it's pretty much the same. Everything, everything he trades, there's like no guesswork involved. You know, I, I don't really want to, I don't have the emeralds to spend right now. I need to go make some more emeralds before I trade with you. But I could just level up both of these or other people can level them up if they want to. There's like, the, the risk with the librarians is trying to get the trade you want. With these guys, there's really no choice. Um, unless you are p picky about what color of banner you get towards the end. Because they can give you any of, any of the 16 colors of banners. But, I mean, let's be honest. We have so many wolf farms. I don't think that's going to be a big problem. So... I think they are probably pretty good as they are. Now, the other thing I want to do, like I was saying, I want I want one of them to be adventure and one of them to be a spectator. So what we need to do is very carefully, and this always makes me nervous, but game mode creative and uh, give me Minecraft command block. Uh... Can I have another one? Okay, so I got two of these. Um, now let's see. I want there to be a button. I don't necessarily. Oops. Oops. Uh. Oops. Uh. <laughs> oops. I made a mistake. Mistakes have been made. Give me that. I, I, I broke it. I always forget. <laughs> I forget. I forget every single time. All right, go away. So I don't necessarily want there to be a button on here. Um. But maybe I could find... Maybe I could do one right here. Oh man, I'm, I'm still in creative. Uh, game mode survival. So I want this to go away. Or should I put it right next to it? That would balance it out better if I put it here. Let's put that there. And we'll put the... Yes, I know you're trying to get out. You keep following me around. You're trying to get out and I'm not going to let you. So we're going to put this here. And what I can do is I'll put a button in it. And let's see. It's my... Yes, here it is. Okay, so we'll put a button here. And we'll have to rig up some redstone underneath. But essentially, I will put... Will it work from right here? I don't see. I'm not very good at redstone. I'll be really honest. I just don't. I have to be in creative to do that. All right. So put that there. I guess I didn't need two of them. Um, game mode. Wait, wait, wait. Cancel. I can figure that out right up here because whoa, <laughs> I have it right here. 
that. I'll just copy and paste it. And I will come down here and put it here. Done. And we will find our quartz slab that we have. Go back into survival. Put our quartz slab down. Does this automatically work? Yes! Oh, that's ugly. <laughs> okay, at least it goes back into place. <laughs> at least, I mean, did you see that? Did, I want it. Put me back in survival. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's not good. <laughs> well, obviously you don't want to be too low to the ground when you come back out of spectator. But, um, yes. So that should work just fine then. Be I mean, I, I'm not wild necessarily about the, uh, the trap door flip-flopping there. But at least it goes back into position. There's nothing I dislike more than trap doors that get left at weird angles. Uh, hello? Oh, hello? There we go. Get me out of there. Um, but as you saw, clicking the button only temporarily triggered it, and then it shut on its own again. And I think that's kind of risky, actually, because... I mean, a zombie would literally have to be doing it at the... A baby zombie would have to be, like, right here, right where you are when you click that button in order for him to get in there in the tiny amount of time that it's open. I mean, I don't think it's really that risky, you know? I don't think we're running a giant risk. So all I need to do is do the same thing over there, but with adventure instead of a uh, spectator. And I think these are finished. So let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back. All right. That means the only thing left to do is to put up a sign. You know, let's go ahead and put it here. Adventure. And over here, we'll put spectator. There. Now both of those are taken care of, I can actually get rid of the spectator button that's up there now that I've been using as I've been working on the library here and the villagers down below. Um, and I think that is pretty much complete. Uh, and I and I think it looks good. I think it kind of balances off the centerpiece. You have the, the front main circulation desk and then you got the two side desks where you get like the support services and whatnot. You get your adventure services over there, your spectator services over here. You can use the cartographer tables. You can trade with the tar cartographers themselves. And I think that's a pretty good pretty good start on the non-librarian villagers still working on of course the other villagers and and our non our other non-librarian types um I, I really do think i like the idea of putting them into the other towers the other spires i just have to i just have to come up with like who goes in which spire and like what the layout should be and stuff like that so maybe that's what we'll work on next episode or maybe i'll get a head start on that between episodes or something but i think i'm pretty happy with the way this is coming along so far so i'm going to go ahead and end the episode here I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you uh, like how the library is coming on and all the trading with the villagers. Uh, luckily, well, lucky for me, maybe not lucky for everybody, but lucky for me, 1.15 has still not hit us here on the server. Um, we've heard that there, you know, were potentially bad things for the server, for other people who have upgraded. So we're going to kind of wait. I think a 1.15.1 is already in the works um, and all that jazz. Um, but we are still, I believe, on, on track to transition to a realm on the 20th, um, which is this Friday. So the next episode that we have together, as far as I'm aware, is going to be on realms. And that might, I don't know. I've never played on realms very much, so I don't know what to expect, really. I don't know if there's going to, I mean, I know Spigot changes some things, and, and, and other people have told me about things that like are very specific i'm of course used to how items clump together due to spigot uh spigot mechanics so there's definitely going to be a little bit of transition hopefully not too much for me um but it'll be interesting nonetheless so i hope you stick around i hope you come back and, and see more um but until next time i hope you have a fantastic time and i will see you later bye <laughs>